the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Iron Fist, Vitaly Klitschko! So, great resolve in that fight. Now, Sam Peter, we said, is resilient, but this is almost a carbon copy of his fight, of Peter's fight with Vladimir Klitschko. It's just that Vitaly's doing so much better and uh, taking so much punishment. Round eight, another one for Klitschko. It, it looks like Peter has said, stop it. He doesn't want to continue, out, and that's it, it's all over. George, just to land them without worrying about whether they're hard fun. You gotta do it, especially when you're fighting a guy who's taking cover. Say. Even his power punches are not hurting our He's in trouble if he could win it. There's a good combination. Now he's swarming inside on Carvajal. Carvajal standing there taking a lot of punishment from the right. A little bit. I don't think it was intentional, and I don't think it was. Oh, oh down goes Jacobs yeah. on a perfect right hand. They gave me the MRI, and they seen. Introducing Daniel, the Miracle Man, Jacob. Вот есть, есть хороший такой размен. Да! Со стороны Джеруда Флетчера. А вот сейчас справа попадает, попадает Дэниел Джейкобс. И есть у него же потрясен, потрясен Флетчер. Есть шанс у Дэниела Джейкобса. Надо работать, надо работать, Дэнни. По корпусу лучше, лучше переводить на корпус удары, Дэнни. Да, да, дорогие друзья, это нокдаун. Нок... Дэниел Джейкобс. Человек, победивший рак спины, сын Нейт. Нейт Дэниел. Это сын Дэниела Джей. Джонс. Attempts fate, I think. Left hook and down goes Tony. The former seven-time world champion, James Lights Up Tony! Smoker's letting them go. For a fight with this much physical activity, leaning all over each other, Smoker's letting them fight. Yeah, James' experience is coming through now. Oh my God, look at this. Forecast for the fight predicted a split decision, oh. one point win for Tony in a brilliant fight. And new RBF Cruiserweight Champion of the World, James Lights Out Tony.
finish things in here. Oh, the uppercut. What an uppercut by Douglas. Hey. down. Here is the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world introducing the one, the only, Iron Mike Tyson. Zephyr. And any time, oh, here comes Tyson. Tyson with a combination. I guarantee you. Oh, a left hook by Mike Tyson, flush on the face of Frank Bono. Another left and a combination by Tyson. Expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson or Fort McKinley and Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson laying it on, pouring it on. Down goes Bruno into the ropes. It is all over here in round three. Mike Tyson is champion again. Tyson took care of business, ducked under, a shot under the arm in the legs, and from here on out, a rain of punches which buckled. Frank Bruno until he was helpless. If you let Mike Tyson get that kind of leverage with that right uppercut, you will not make it. And new. He's coming forward. Here comes Holyfield, but he gets oh. caught by a short right hand. Tonight, challenging for his third heavyweight crown, here is the real deal. Introducing the Vander Holyfield. Like the overachieving warrior that he is. Fights at such a frantic pace, and you pointed that out. Look out now as they come together. Again, the headbutt, Vandal Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. A straight right hand. The top is up to fight, and Holyfield has I can't believe what I'm saying. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. Mayhem. Hasn't been able to get inside all night. Right hand to the temple hurt, and you'll see a good left hand and a right hand here. That started to really be the beginning of the end for Mike. The right uppercuts were landing the same uppercuts that Tyson is famous for. He was getting hit with there. Punches teeing off on Davy Moore. And down right he goes. Hand. Oh, a minute ago. Big and right hand. Referee's looking closer, but Moore holds on. And look at these shots by Roberto Duran. Davy Moore has thrown nothing in this round. Just taking shot after shot. And what will it take for this to end? What do they need to see? This referee's a disgrace. This should have been started. There's Jose Torres on the lower left. Former light heavyweight champion begging him to stop the fight. Thrown in, which came from the other side of the ring. Referee did not even see this. He is the challenger and former undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. Determination on Ray Leonard. Great. Ray absolutely gritted his teeth. Look at him go. Again. Well, we said they were going to have to fight him. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Now, Hagler with a little showboat. 
Some shuffle back from Ray. And new middleweight champion of the world, second, Will Lindley. Uh, capable of dishing out tremendous punishment. Set. We're just about ready to begin round one. Super confident. Foreman looks unusually slow with his hands. Look at this now. Round five. This is George Foreman's round all the way. Ali, this is a cruising round for him. Foreman wailing away. There's a good right uppercut. Ali continues to talk. Foreman tries to deliver some shots to the body. The bell sounds ending round seven. Very even fight. Ali, a sneaky right hand. Another sneaky right hand. This time he works over the shoulder of Foreman. Am I the greatest of all times? That I was the greatest of all times? The challenger, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Big. Sure. Form. That's right. <laughs> Left and a right inside by Moore. Upper cut by Moore. Blasted Foreman's chin backward. Atlas didn't count the Atlas. Here we go again with the Atlas. Uh, Michael Moore is down. Down goes Moore on a right hand. An unbelievably close in right hand. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, we mentioned that he was having a strong round. He had set up some blows, and then that right hand anesthetized Michael Moore. The winner, and once again, Heavyweight champion of the world, Big George.